In this video, I'm going to ask all 30 MLB teams for autographs or merch and see which teams actually respond and send me something. I tried this earlier this year with the NBA and eight different teams responded, including the Brooklyn Nets who sent me this really big box full of stuff. Oh my goodness, they sent me a jersey. And I got a ton of requests to do the same thing with the MLB. So I compiled a list of mailing addresses for all 30 teams and started writing letters in which I kindly asked the teams if it would please be possible to send me any autographs or merchandise. Then I addressed and stamped each envelope and included a self-addressed envelope inside the main envelope so teams could easily send mail back to me. But I ran into a tiny problem. I unfortunately have run out of stamps. So I made my way to the store where I picked up some more stamps and then finished preparing and packing all the letters. Now the envelopes are all officially done. And because the letters are done, I went to the post office to mail them where I almost lost one of the letters in the wind, but I was able to grab it and send the letters to their destinations across the country. And since the Blue Jays are in Canada, I had to order some Canadian stamps online. And once they arrived about a week later, I was able to finish preparing the letter to the Blue Jays and went back to the post office to send it on its way to Toronto. And after just a couple weeks of waiting, teams started to respond. But I wasn't actually sure who the first piece of mail was from until I opened it because there wasn't a return address on it. So a little bit of a mystery here on the first one. Feels like it has some cards, maybe. Let's see. Oh boy. There's actually a lot of stuff in here. Wow. Oh, it's the Tampa Bay Rays. Welcome to Tampa Bay. Postcard thing. Nice beach scene. Tropical. Good vibes. Let's see what else we got in here. We got a nice raise up flag here. Look at that. That's nice. Uh, maybe Made in China, ironically, so not made in Tampa Bay. We got a little raise up magnet. I'll put this on my refrigerator. We actually got a nice raise pencil here. Really working my penmanship with this. We got a little wristband there. Very nice. It's a little let's go raise wristband. I'm gonna go ahead and slap this bad boy on here. We got a few more things in here. We're not done yet. We got a little Raymond tattoo here. Ray's mascot. I'm gonna put this on my skin later oh we got another tattoo so we actually got two of the raymond tattoos they sent a lot of cards here let's see what we got we got tyler glass now we got a nice brandon lau card as well and we also got a raymond card very nice none of them autographed but still very cool cards so a big thank you to the rays and they also sent two pocket game schedules here so that's very nice very convenient keep track of the rays games nice and easy now a lot of cool stuff from the rays here so a huge thank you to the rays the second team to respond to me was the three-time world series champion in Chicago White Sox. Another pocket schedule here. Very nice. Thank you to the White Sox for this. They actually sent an envelope inside of this envelope. Looks like we got another magnet. Southpaw, the White Sox mascot. That's a good looking magnet right there. A very handsome fellow, if I do say so myself. We got a Lucas Giolito sticker here. This is actually a really nice high quality sticker. They sent me a couple big printed game schedules, actually. And they also sent a nice letter, it looks like here. Dear White Sox fan, we owe our success to our fans and we're truly grateful for your loyal support over the last century. I have not been alive a century, but you're welcome. Go Sox. That is very sweet. They also sent some cards here in a pack. Actually, the cards in this pack are not White Sox cards. They're just baseball cards in general. So we got another Tyler Glasnow card, actually. So now we have two Tyler Glasnow Tampa Bay Rays cards. We have a Clayton Kershaw card, a Ronnie Dawson card here from the Houston Astros, a Max Kranich card from the Pittsburgh Pirates, and a, a JD Martinez Boston Red Sox card. None of these are autographed, but still a very cool group of cards here. So a huge thank you to the White Sox for taking the time to send this stuff. The New York Mets were the third team to send me mail. Pretty sizable envelope here. It feels like there's some clothing in here. Oh boy, there is definitely some clothing in here. Wow. First of all, we got a lanyard, high quality Mets lanyard here. Then we got this nice piece of clothing, it looks like. Woo, doggy. Oh, that is a clean looking tee. Oh, I didn't even see this on the back. Look at that. It's a Mets Scherzer jersey t shirt, and it's my size too. You got that nice Mets logo on the front. You got the Scherzer 21. One. Oh, that is a clean looking tea, baby. 100% pre-shrunk cotton. So that's that quality stuff. You know, you're getting that pre-shrunk cotton. That's what you want to see. I'm definitely going to be rocking this tea. That is crazy. A huge, huge thank you to the Mets. The fourth team to respond was the Pittsburgh Pirates. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of stuff in here. First of all, we got a nice big game schedule magnet here. And I'll tell you what, I definitely will not be missing any Pirates games with this. We got a little uh, Let's Go Bucks bumper magnet here. Let's see what else. We got a... Oh, Oh my goodness gracious me. Is that what I think it is? That is a Pittsburgh Pirates P silly band. I have not seen a silly band in a minute. So I'm definitely slapping this guy on. Ooh man, look at that. I never would have thought I was gonna get a silly band. 
but I am very happy I did. It looks like we got some Pittsburgh Pirates uh, stickers here. You got some different things on here, and you got the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates logo down here in the bottom as well. We actually got a couple more things in here from the Pirates. Oh, we got a second silly band. Oh my goodness. We're going crazy with the silly band. I gotta slap this one on too. You know I have to. That is amazing. The Pirates also sent a tattoo here that says raise it. It looks like a nice high quality tattoo. And they also sent two pocket game schedules here. And it looks like there was one more thing in here. Uh, we actually got another tattoo here. And we got this nice handwritten letter here from the Pirates. It says, hi, Philip. Thank you so much for being a great fan. We hope that we can see you in person at PNC Park sometime soon. Your friends at the Pittsburgh Pirates. Ah, that is very sweet. I appreciate it so much. A big thank you to the Pirates for taking the time to write a handwritten letter and for all this cool stuff they sent. After a little more waiting, I got mail back from four more teams. The first of which was the 2016 World Series champion, Chicago Cubs. The Cubs here sent a letter and it's got their little emblem here in the top right. Very fancy. Feels like some cards. Let's see what we got. We got, uh, oh, we got a patch. 2022 Chicago Cubs Scout Night patch. Got a cute little cub there in the middle. We got a couple of Cubs stickers here. Very nice. The classic Cubs logo there. I will definitely put these on a thing somewhere and it looks like we do have a card in here as well we have a uh future stars owen casey card here number 15 in a set of 15 cards produced for cubs season ticket holders oh but i'm not a season ticket holder but i do have one of these cards now that's really cool so a big thank you to the cubs for this stuff the sixth team to respond to me was the texas rangers this envelope is actually in pretty bad shape the whole thing is pretty much ripped open already actually but let's go ahead and take a peek inside we got a couple of nice pocket schedules here a couple of nice texas rangers stickers here. Looking forward to sticking these on something. We got three nice cards here. We got Nathaniel Lowe, Marcus Simeon, and Adolis Garcia. So three very cool cards here. All three of them do have autographs on them, but they just appear to be like a photo kind of copy autograph, not actually authentically signed, but still very cool cards here. So a big thank you to the Rangers. The next team to respond was the Cleveland Guardians, and they sent something pretty cool. A couple of different things in here. We got Tristan McKenzie Magnet here. Nice little magnet there and it looks like we got oh we may have our first autograph it looks like we got a signed card in here oh we do look at that that looks authentic slider cleveland guardians mascot autograph card i know what you're saying it's a mascot card doesn't really count but i count it any authentic autograph that definitely counts and slider is a handsome fellow slider is a top tier mascot okay so our first official autograph here comes from slider of the cleveland guardians a big thank you to the guardians for the card and also for the magnet i've opened mail from 17 so far and now it's time to open this big package that was sent by the 27 time world series champion new york yankees this big package costs ten dollars and 55 cents in postage whatever is in here is pretty soft it feels like it's probably closed all right here we go Ooh boy there's a lot of stuff in here uh we got a couple of pencils new york yankee pencils here let's see what else we got here we got oh oh boy we got a yankees calendar that's kind of nice yankees logo in the middle oh it's got the okay yeah it's got the oh 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 something fell out of it oh my goodness it is ah we got a commemorative ticket here for 2023 opening day new york yankees versus the san francisco giants that's actually really cool we have have a, a second commemorative ticket as well so we actually have two commemorative opening day tickets and it looks like we do have an apparel item here a nice new york yankees tee here classic white tee the new york and the yankees logo there in the middle and we also got the uh sato healthcare innovation which is very cool gildan heavy cotton yeah that's a nice clean tee thank you very much to the yankees for this and a big thank you for the calendar the pencils and the tickets as well after another week of waiting for more mail some more teams have responded starting with the arizona diamondbacks it's gonna give this one an open here oh we got some cards i think we have our first official player autographs here we got two of them it looks like alec thomas and josh rojas a couple of very cool cards here so we have our first two official player autographs here so a huge thank you to the diamondbacks these two autographs from alec thomas and josh rojas bring our autograph total up to three and the next team to respond was the seattle mariners and they sent some autographs too first of all we got a nice pocket schedule oh wow we got another pocket schedule Okay, another one. And I think we may actually have a few more pocket schedules. I don't actually know if I even have enough pockets for all these pocket schedules, to be honest with you. We got a fourth Mariners pocket schedule and a fifth Mariners pocket schedule. So I will definitely not be missing any Mariners games. Oh boy. Oh boy. It looks like we got some more player autographs here. Let's see what we got. We have an autographed Steve Ciszek card here. Actually a uh, St. Louis Cardinals card, but he did at one time play for the uh, Mariners. Now let's see what else we got. Ooh. We have an autographed Mike Leak card 
and actually we have two uh, autographed Mike Leake cards and these are both actually autographed USA baseball cards from the uh, USA national team so these are very cool cards and very nice of the Mariners to put them in this nice protective pouch but that's not it Dan Wilson and I believe he's actually in the Mariners Hall of Fame so not autographed here but definitely still a very cool card we got a Mike Blowers card here and Mike Blowers is actually the current color commentator for the uh, Mariners again not an autographed card but still a very cool card looks like we got one more card here we have a Lou Pinella manager card here Pinella won two World Series titles as a player so a very cool card to have thank you very much to the Mariners for these amazing game schedules and these very cool cards this Steve Ciszek and these two Mike Leak autographs bring the autograph total up to six and the next team to send me mail was the San Diego Padres feels like some cards in here Fernando Tatis Jr. card a nice looking card here for sure oh a nice Padres baseball sticker got a little uh, baseball with a helmet on it's actually a pretty cute sticker another sticker we also have a uh, Juan Soto Padres card and we have a third card here uh, Nick Martinez another very nice looking card here from the Padres so we got three very cool cards and the Padres also sent us a nice handwritten letter here I'm very grateful for the Padres taking the time to write a nice handwritten note here so a big thank you to the Padres I've now opened mail from over a third of the MLB and after another week the Oakland Athletics responded to my letter and this package here has a little bit of thickness to it maybe a lot of cards let's open and find out here we got a big piece of paper a history of the Oakland Coliseum it looks like very cool and we got another piece of paper it is uh, the athletics history here history of the team we got a little letter here from the A's it says hello we appreciate all your support and are happy to provide you with a few items to help you cheer on the team go A's thank you very much for that and looks like we got oh I think maybe a couple stickers eye stickers here I think you can put on your face and we also got two big athletics stickers here so we got six stickers in total from the Oakland A's we got a book here oh this is really nice very nice fancy Oakland A's notepad the top of the pen looks like it's missing let's see if it works yeah, look at that. The pen works. And I think we have a few more things in here. Ooh, two different wristbands. This one says, let's go Oakland on it. And we also have this kind of classic green with the athletics logo around it. I'm going to go ahead and slap these bad boys on right now. A big thank you to the Oakland A's for sending all this cool stuff. The next team to send me mail was a 2018 World Series champion, Boston Red Sox. I actually got two different packages from the Boston Red Sox. So thank you very much to them. This is package number one here oh wow okay we got a bunch of different stuff in here i think we got a nice handwritten letter it looks like it says my name on the front fill up that's very nice. That's my name. Dear Philip, thank you so much for writing to us here at the Red Sox. Go Sox! We got another wristband in this pack with, ooh, I think we got some dirt. We got some dirt from Fenway Park itself. Dang, that's really cool. This is authentic dirt from Fenway Park. Maybe one of the coolest things I've gotten so far. That is really, really awesome. Thank you very much to the Red Sox for this Fenway dirt. Looks like we also have a Red Sox pocket schedule here, and we also have a nice big Red Sox sticker here. A 2023 Red Sox calendar. We got Kenley Jansen here on the front in January. It's got all the games on it. Definitely going to put this up on my wall so I can keep track of the games and also just what day it is. Thank you very much to the Red Sox for this. Let's open the second package they sent. I hear something in there. Maybe a keychain? It could be more Fenway dirt. We got another letter here. So the Red Sox are really going out of their way to be very personal about this. Super kind of them. So shout out to them. Let's see what's inside the package here. We got a second Red Sox Nation wristband here. I'll put this one on my other wrist just to switch it up a bit. It's not a keychain. It's a lanyard, kind of like an extended keychain. The Boston Red Sox B logo here and Vineyard Vines actually. A very cool lanyard here. I think we got a little more in here. Oh, there is a keychain in here. We got a little keychain baseball bat very cute look at that we have another big boston red sox sticker here and we also have ooh, it's like hand-drawn boston red sox art here that's super cool and it says it's done by ashley eisenman who is a boston-based watercolor artist and baseball enthusiast wow shout out to ashley eisenman for doing this cool artwork and a big thank you of course to the boston red sox for taking the time to send two different packages and all of this very cool stuff at this point it's been 
been a little over a month since I sent out the letters, but I was still getting some more mail, including a response from the St. Louis Cardinals. Ooh, we got a couple different things in here. First of all, we got a nice letter here. And this letter actually has William DeWitt III's signature on it, who is the president of the St. Louis Cardinals. It looks like it is a photocopy and not a real authentic autograph, but still a very cool and very nice letter from the Cardinals here. We have a very nice sticker here. And we also have two cards here. We got a Miles Michaelis card and a Paul DeYoung card. So two very cool cards here for sure. Thank you very much to the Cardinals. The 2015 champion Kansas City Royals also responded to my letter and they sent some pretty cool stuff. I think we may have another autograph. Oh, this looks like a big autograph. Oh, we got a Bruce Chen autograph here. Kansas City Royals pitcher and it definitely appears to be a real and authentic autograph. Definitely going to frame this and put it up on the wall. But that is not all that the Royals sent actually. It looks like we have multiple cards in here. We got like a pack. Oh, and these are also autographed here. Oh, it's one really thick card. It is a Billy Butler autographed card here. Wow, look at that. It says 45 of 75. So only 75 of these were made and signed by Billy Butler himself. Billy Butler was an all-star for the Royals. I just realized this. It actually has part of his jersey that he wore. I think that's what that is. So we got an authentic little bit of a MLB jersey, which makes this card even cooler and also an autograph from an MLB all-star. So a super cool card. Thank you to the Royals for sending this. The Bruce Chen and Billy Butler autographs bring our autograph total up to eight. And I've now gotten mail from half the teams in the league, but more mail kept coming, including a response from the Atlanta Braves. We got a nice sticker that says back to the battle for the A. We have two 2023 Braves schedules here. Very cool. We got a nice looking little sticker here. It says for the A on it. A big thank you to the Braves for sending this stuff. The 17th team to respond with mail was the LA Dodgers. This one has some heft to it. It feels like it's got like a book in it or something. Let's open it and see. Definitely some reading material here. It looks like a Los Angeles Dodgers Dodger Insider. We got a nice Clayton Kershaw article in here. It's kind of like a mini Dodgers magazine, I feel like. Not autographed, but still a very cool piece of reading material here. Thank you very much to the Dodgers for sending this. So that is all the teams who responded. We got eight autographs in total and 17 different teams ended up sending some mail. A huge shout out and thank you to all of them. And a huge thank you to you for watching the video. If you like this video, let me know. If you hated it, let me know even more. And I'll catch y'all next time.